Today, in Spanish too, we're going to talk about stem changing verbs. Stem changing verbs, also known as root verbs, have a spelling change in the middle of the verb in addition to the end. So you'll drop your AR, ER, or IR ending and replace it with a new ending according to the subject of each sentence and you'll also have a spelling change in the middle of the verb. So this is our first verb. If you don't have this written down, go ahead and write that down. Repitan. Pedir. Pedir. Pido. Pido. Pides. Pides. Pide. 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 Pedimos. Pedimos. Piden. Piden. Why do I have pedis crossed out? Good, that's the Los Otros form and it's only used in Spain. Repitan. Servir. Servir. Sirvo. Sirves. Sirve. Servimos. Sirven. Muy bien. The course of service is crossed out because it's the Rosotros form. Alright, jot that down if you need to. Alright, next is a verb that we saw yesterday, if you watched the video from yesterday. That's repetir. Repitan. Repetir. Repito. Repites. Repite. Repetimos. Repiten. Muy bien. And of course that means to repeat. So when I say to you guys, when I say repitan, that's a command form. It's a command to a group of people saying repeat. So here's some practice. I want you guys to just jot down the answers in your notebooks. You do not have to write the complete sentences. Just jot these down. Here are your sentence prompts. This should be pretty routine by now. Very similar to your bell work this morning. Jot down the answers for numerals. Uno, dos, tres, y cuatro. Okay, here are the answers. Yo pido bistec, pero el camarero sirve pollo. Nosotros pedimos ensalada, pero el restaurante solo sirve pescado y papas fritas. Ella repite las palabras de la canción. Ustedes repiten las palabras en español. All right. So the translations of these sentences would be, I order steak, but the waiter serves chicken. We order salad, but the restaurant only serves fish and french fries. She repeats the words of the song, and you all repeat the words in Spanish. Okay, so that those are E to I stem changing verbs. All right, now, there's another type of stem change. This is E to I E stem changing verbs. E to I E stem changing verbs. So please write these verbs down. And as you're writing, please repitan, prefiero, prefieres, prefiere, everybody, preferimos, prefieren, muy bien. All right, let's move on to the next verb. Again, if you need more time to write these verbs down, a video will be available today, later today. Repitan, entender. Entiendo. Entiendes. Everybody, entiendes. Entiende. Entendemos. Entienden. Muy bien. 
one of the first spontaneous conversations I ever had with a native Spanish speaker. A lady asked me the question, ¿Me entiendes? Do you understand me? And I said, Sí, entiendo. Yes, I understand. That was pretty cool. I felt proud <laughs> that day. <laughs> It's a, a friend of mine who I knew pretty well and also spoke English introduced me to her mom and uh, her mom only spoke Spanish and she introduced me by saying, Mateo habla espanol, Matt speaks Spanish. And she was like, a poco? Like, really? So she said, ¿me entiendes? Do you understand me? And I was like, si, sí, entiendo. So yeah, I felt proud that day. <laughs> All right, next. Repitan, querer. Querer means to want. Repitan, quiero. Quieres. Quiere. Queremos. Quieren. This is the last word you'll copy down today. So. Quiero, quieres, quiere, queremos, queri, queris, quieren. Okay, fill in the blank with the correct conjugation. Okay. Here are the correct answers. Yo entiendo español, pero mi amigo no entiende. Nosotros queremos nadar en la piscina. Él prefiere leer libros que jugar deportes. Elena y Juan entienden inglés, pero prefieren hablar español. So the, the sentences translate to mean, I understand Spanish but my friend doesn't understand. We want to swim in the pool. He prefers to read books than playing sports. Elena and Juan understand English but prefer to speak Spanish. All right. 